Hey everyone, in this session, I am going to talk about the difference between two access roles in Power BI, which is member role versus contribute role. We always have some confusion like when to use contribute role and when to use member role. Which are the features which is available for the member view and which one are available for the contributor view. These all questions arise in our mind when we are giving access to someone on Power BI app workspace. So now in this session, I'm going to talk about all of these things in the detail. So stay connected with me throughout the end of the session. So let's get started. So first of all, this is my workspace and currently I have provided this type of access to my different users. Currently, Dhruvin has admin access, Aditya has member access and Adele has contributor access. Now, let's compare side by side features for contributor and member user. Remember one thing, Aditya is member and Adele is contributor. So now let's get started by side by side comparison. So this is the app workspace for Aditya and this is the app workspace for Adele. We all know that Aditya has member permission and Adele has contributor permission. So here it is member and here it's contributor. So member versus contributor. So let's check the feature side by side, right? So first of all, create app button will be visible to the member user while contributor user don't have a permission to create app or update the app. So one major difference creating app, updating the app, publishing the app can be done by members, but it cannot be done by contributors. But one more thing for contributor user with a special access admin user can allow contributor to make some changes to the app, but it is optional. I prepared a separate video for that. This feature has been rolled out recently. So let's say here I am admin user and if I go to the app setting and go to advanced and click on allow contributor to update the app for this workspace at this time the contributor can update the app but they cannot give a permission to the specific user over there right so that was one limitation second thing is that let's compare this ribbon over here you can see that for members, we have this different option here. You can see the access property for member. So member can assign uh, the permission to other members or underneath, but contributor cannot assign permission to anyone over here. So this is the second thing. Now let's talk about third thing. Member can access Power BI report, dashboard, data set and data flow same way contributor can access all of these things over here. So there is no major difference over here. But now you can see some of the options can be only visible to the members. Let's say this sharing feature when I hover over it, you can see share option. This option is only available for members. While when you hover on the contributor role, you can't share the report with the other person, right? Then if we expand this one, let's check out the different option. Analyze in Excel is available for both. Delete is available both. Quick Insight is available for both. Save a copy. Setting option. View usage metrics and view lineage. These options are available for both the users. Right? Now there is a question. When to assign a user to a member role or when to assign a contributor role? If you wish to make your user as a developer, at that time, you can make that user to a contributor role. Contributor role is also known as a deployment role, right? So basically, if I summarize this entire thing, what would be the outcome? Member user have and all the permission same like contributor, but they have some additional X privileges like providing an access and creating and publishing or modifying the app while contributor role have all the editing permission like accessing a report dashboard data set data flow as well as publishing and unpublishing a report or a dashboard but they don't have a permission to update the app over here right and contributor role user cannot give access to anyone else so it's just a deployment role so 
this is the basic difference in between member and contributor role actually we always have a confusion in between contributor and member role the name contributor itself is confused role confused uh, role most of the time we are thinking that contributor role have a highest privileges than the member role but it is not true in this condition here member user have more privileges than contributor role all right so hope this is clear for you now if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye